Hey, this is Ben Jones, and we're going to be learning about how to animate skinned geometry for Paper Vision 3D. Uh, Alright, so I just have this cube that I had for the last tutorial, and I'm going to modify it a little bit. I'm just going to scale it up. That's pretty good. Alright, and I'm just going to add some more edge loops going down the side of it. This way when we deform it using the, the bones, it actually has some geometry to deform. So now I'll just go to create and systems and we're going to use bones. And I'm just going to turn on snapping real quick and click out a couple bones and that's good enough alright um, let's see here click on your geometry and add a skin modifier and just add those bones that you just created alright and now you need to go in and edit the envelopes and you know maybe smooth some, smooth some of the weights out uh, you can use the paint weights tool to blend them um, so yeah just go in there smooth some things out I already have a model that's already rigged and ready to go so I'm just gonna open up that so there we go Bam! Alright. So, I mean, there's, there's nothing really that unique about this. I'm just going to be, you know, setting some keyframes on these bones and animating it. Uh, so, I'm, I'm just going to set the opacity of my material to 50%, just so I can see through and see the bones. And then I'm also going to freeze my geometry. So, if I just right click, and go to object properties and freeze it and I'm going to turn off show frozen in gray alright so now I can't select it but I can select the bones but that's all I want to select so I'm good so just select all the bones turn on set key and pop a keyframe in and go a couple frames down do the same thing go a couple more frames down and actually start to animate this shit. Um, so, have it bend over. Not gonna lie, I don't have the best weights on this thing. Um, but, I, I'm just trying to you know, make it so you guys get the picture. It's pretty simple. So, I'm just gonna have them bend over. And maybe I'll have them bend back that way. And when you're animating, um, at least how I've been taught is to do things pose to pose. Um, so like, you know, I want this pose and I want that pose. Um, and I have key. I have keys set on all of the joints. Um, I selected all the joints and, and popped in a key. Uh, that way, I can adjust the timing by just you know selecting the keyframes and move them all, and I, I get that pose for each one. So like if I play this right now, it's probably like too fast. Yeah, it's too fast. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just duplicate this and move this down. Kind of want them to pause there for a little bit. Um, and I'll have them overshoot just a little bit. Alright. And bring that in. 
see how that looks. Alright, let's have them be down there a little longer. Still not down there long enough. I'm going to just expand my time. 